guys welcome back to this channel remember it's mix from the mix creation and thank you so much for coming back to this channel by the way if you are new to this channel consider subscribing support this channel by subscribing to this channel remember we are still looking at the amendments in the new labor law in the uae that is coming to effect in february 2022 we want us to this to know what are the new amendments what are we supposed to know where are we benefiting where are the employer benefiting and where are we benefiting from so we are looking at part of the amendments that are in the new labor law and remember in the new labor law that is coming into effect we have what we call the different worker categories what are we talking about there's going to be an introduction of the new different work categories which work categories are we talking about we are talking about full-time part-time and even temporary work category you can either decide to work in either of that category depending on how much you've agreed with your employer if you sign a contract with him and you're going to work what you call half time or what you call full time yes if you're going to work part time yes it is allowed if you are going to work on a temporary basis it is also allowed by the new labor law that is what we call another amendment in the new labor law i think it is very good it is very good for the employees but remember what does the law say i'm going to read to you what i summarize out of the amendment it says including all employers will be allowed to work including full-time part-time temporary and a flexible work among its other categories whereas the whereas the current labor law provides that an employee is supposed to work eight hours a day which is 48 hours per week the new labor law that is coming into effect in february 2022 in the uae provides an option to the employees provided that your contract your contract that you signed with your employer allows you to work for 40 hours a week on what we call a condensed working hour model and what are we talking about when you're talking about the condensed working hour models yes we are talking about either on the full time either on the temporary or either on what we call a part-time or temporary or depending on which work flexibility that you've agreed with your employer in your contract so the new labor law that is coming it will permit you to do that but remember you can only work on a full-time a temporary basis on a flexible or even part-time after after an agreed contract or when it is on a signed agreed contract with your employer otherwise it may end up not being good for you in case your employer lodges a, a complaint about you when he finds you that you're doing some other work that is not as part of the contract remember one of the things that you need to remember that the law, the law also gives also also protects the businesses it is not only going to protect the employees but it's also going to protect the interests of the business and one of the interests how it's going to protect the interests of the business that we talked about that you remember that in case your employer lodges a complaint about you you'll have to pay 50 percent of your wages to the contractor so hope is, this is very clear. Hope this is very clear for you. So it is a very good idea. It's going to be a very good idea. It's going to create what you call a favorable working conditions where you can specifically do something else at that time, where you can try to do something else. But remember, you need to follow the law, you need to follow the rules, and you need to follow what is being stipulated in the contract or what is being stipulated in the labor law. Otherwise, to avoid any disagreements or any problems whatsoever that may come you need to follow and you should read carefully and should understand part of these amendments so remember the new labor law is going to introduce or it's going to make amendments where you can either work full-time temporarily or part-time but remember 
all this is going to depend on what contract have you signed with your employer at that time remember your contract you sign is going to be on what we call a three-year contract which will either be renewable the same three-year contract or it's going to be renewed or less depending on what you agree with your employer thank you so much for coming back to this channel see you again as we try to see more amendments in the new labor